Do all of your groans and, and moans like have dialogue assigned to them, at least to you? It's a good question. Yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, a lot of it though, I have to admit, is not PG-13 friendly. It's deeply erotic. Guys, good to see you both again. How are you doing today? Nice Hi, Jake. to see you. I'm gonna jump into this. I was I was raised on the classic Universal uh, movie monsters, and so not only did it help me love this movie, but I also love this idea of like Frankenstein's monsters as the basis for a dark rom com. So thinking about all of the great monsters of that Universal era, whether it be Dracula or Wolfman or the Mummy or Invisible Man, which one do you think? would make the next great romantic comedy? And what are some of the issues that that monster might have to get over in order to make the relationship work? Ooh, well, we already know, like, Dracula works. Like, yeah, I mean, the vampire Huge thing. Twilight fan. Vampire. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited for the wolf man. I don't know how romantic that's going to be. I think it's going to be quite scary. What do you think? What's another, like, monster that I we mean, haven't seen in a while? I would like to see... I would like to see like a big kaiju monster like Godzilla mm -hmm. have to grapple with the fan, like the fact that he or she is falling in love. With a person? With a, no, with another monster. Oh, another monster. With another big one, okay. completely different. Yeah. And you know, at first they're fighting, it goes, it's sort of frenemies, you know? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh wait, Yeah. you understand me too. Yeah. And then they just thrash those smaller cities. It's you always know? the idea. And that's like their date. They like jump around and kill people. Yeah. Right. Eat them. I love this. So so it Godzilla plus one. Godzilla plus one. <laughs> oh, dude, that's, that's the great. Date. <laughs> that's the movie. Good, good stuff. Uh Cole, I actually I read in an interview one time where George Lucas said that he actually wrote lines for all of Chewbacca's growls so that both Peter Mayhew and Harrison Ford knew what their conversations were. So <laughs> My song, my song. That's fun. Do all of your groans and, and moans like have dialogue assigned to them, at least to you? It's a good question. Yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, a lot of it though, I have to admit, is not PG-13 friendly. It's deeply erotic. You gotta give me, you can't say that and not give me just like a little. You gotta give me something. I think he's waxing poetic. And look, as much as I would like to flirt with you right now, <laughs> we're just not the space. It's just not the time. And it honestly didn't matter because my character never listened to him anyway. Yeah. Do you like music? I have the cure. Ooh. Oh, not that kind of cure. <laughs> they can't make you better. I mean, they can, but like emotionally. No, don't cry. I had no idea what he was saying, ever. My character ignored him completely. No, actually, you know, the groans and, and the vocalizations weren't a part of the original character. I think it started when I just... On set the first day. It just, I just did it for a take and we ended up liking it. And then we did it for a couple more takes. And I, I wasn't even sure a lot of that was gonna be in the film, but they really ended up using quite a bit of it, which was nice. That's fantastic. Honestly, it's seriously, it's some of the best moments in the movie. Um, I remember, this is random, I remember seeing Titanic when I was like nine. And, you know, at that age, I sort of like based my ideas of what love was on that movie. Because I feel like when you're a kid, movies and pop culture sort of teach you what love is. So I'm sort of curious if you could imagine a kid out there who sees this film uh, and maybe this is their cinematic introduction to what love is. What lessons do you hope that they take away from it? This is completely how it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is this, this is, is very normal. In fact, this is one of the natural progressions in any healthy relationship. It's um yeah, it's exactly how my life is and every yeah. relationship I have is yeah. this. So don't accept people as they are, build them. Build them. Make with them better. Parts. Yeah. And then run away from everyone you know and love. And anyone that gets in your way, kill yeah. them. Take an axe to them. Yeah. Easy. Pretty straightforward. I think the message is pretty clear, honestly. Yeah. Right now, everyone at the studio behind the scenes is going, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Guys, seriously, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Within like 30 seconds of being in the theater to see this movie, I was like, oh, this, this is very much my kind of movie. So seriously, congratulations. Please make more movies like this. And I appreciate your time. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Color going, we don't need Rose.